Dilemma time. Today I'd made the decision that I was gonna trade my GH5 in and I was gonna do all my vlogging on my 5D Mark IV because the autofocus is mega. So I went for a hot chocolate with my dear wife, Grace, and I sat down and I started writing all the pros and cons down for the GH5 against the Mark IV. And here's what I came up with. Okay, so the GH5, which I'm filming on now, and you'll see is great quality, um, very nice. Um, it films in 24 frames a second, it films in 30 frames a second, it films in 60 frames a second, and it's all in 4K. So you've got a huge wide range of everything. It does it in 8-bit, it does it in 10-bit. I have a little flip round screen there, which is great. It's lightweight, I can put it on my tripod, um, I can put it on my gimbal thing, this gimbal thing. I can put it on this gimbal thing filming and it's great but what I have a problem with and I think what a lot of people have a problem with is the autofocus Bruce Lee see that still not focusing and that's the problem that I have with this now it might just be Bruce Lee that it's not focusing on so I'm gonna use this See what I mean? How bad is that? And for a camera, for something that you want to use for vlogging, you don't want to use, you can't use manual focus because you're going to be giving it this all the time. You want quick focus. Ah, and it, how long did that take? Crap. Still not focusing on Bruce. So that's my dilemma. Do I keep it? Do I trade it? I'm now going to switch over to the 5D Mark IV and you'll see how good that is. So now we're filming on the 5D Mark IV, which is my preferred option. Now, I know it doesn't do 60 frames a second in 4K. I know it doesn't have image stabilisation. It doesn't even have a flip-out screen. So really, it doesn't do anything that this one does. But I still prefer that. Now, the main reason I prefer that is because of this. Because the autofocus is so freaking good. Now, that's going to be the wrong camera for me to do vlogging on because surely holding something out like that is going to break my arms in half and you're going to need to be someone like that, the wolf, to have big old muscles to carry it around. Plus you're going to look like a bit of a knob, surely, carrying a 5D Mark IV, looking at it around, it's going to look like you're going to need a massive kind of rig to do it. So everything comes back to this one. So I'm going to say this video isn't a tutorial. Uh, it's not even a review. It's more of a self-help video because I'd like to know what anyone thinks, whether I should keep this because I don't want to make the wrong decision and send it back when it does everything I want it to do, but it's just the autofocus is shit. Now, am I going to constantly be having to zoom it in and out and hold it and not know what's in focus and set it on a large aperture just to make sure everything's in focus? Or I can just stick with that, which I know is great because it will focus in on Bruce within a second whereas that one as you saw in the last video didn't even focus in full stop so i think i'm gonna open it up to you guys you're gonna help me out you're gonna like subscribe and you're gonna tell me what you think um, and then hopefully i'll have some great reviews back and i'll probably end up keeping both which grace won't be too happy with so the next video i'm gonna do is gonna involve fire it's gonna involve pet cameras it's it's gonna involve head cameras it's going to involve being outside, it's going to involve a load of different things, so make sure you subscribe and then you'll get a little notification when that video is up and you can watch it and love it and hopefully I'll then be around to do another video after that without dying.